Hello everyone. So in this particular video, I am going to discuss complete preparation strategy for Gurukul DL biochemistry. And uh, we all people know that uh, the biochemistry syllabus is a very vast syllabus. Uh, and in one line, if I want to explain about the syllabus, I can tell you that uh, the Gurukul DL biochemistry syllabus will be equal to the syllabus of the CSIR net. So the people who are preparing for the DL has to prepare from very basic to the very advanced level. And you all people know that the number of posts are only one. But if you really follow my classes very thoroughly and the aspirants who are appearing in this particular biochemistry section, you can surely crack it you know, without fail. So let me explain you very clearly how to study this and what kind of books to be used. How many hours of preparation is required? And I am telling to all of you, whomever preparing for the biochemistry, if you just read the basic level, you never ever crack the exam because the questions will come from very basic to the very advanced level. So let's analyze the syllabus very correctly. So if you look into the chemistry of biomolecules, so what you people has to read in this particular chemistry of biomolecules, you have to read the chemistry of the carbohydrates, you have to read the chemistry of the amino acid, you have to read the chemistry of the lipids, as well as you have to read the chemistry of the nucleic acids. So friends, this is the exact syllabus of the CSR net life sciences only. When you are reading the carbohydrates, you have to read complete classification of monosaccharide, disaccharide, as well as polysaccharide, most, most importantly, along with their linkages you have to study. That is very important here. And when you are reading the amino acid, the questions come in many ways. The questions come from the classification. The questions comes from the, especially the numerical problems, PKA related, as well as the pH related problems, as well as the PI related problem. That is the isoelectric point related problems. Right. When you look into the protein chemistry, what you have to read here, you have to read the primary structure of a protein, secondary structure of a protein, tertiary structure of a protein, quaternary structure of a protein. You have to understand the structural hierarchy and you have to understand what kind of bonds or forces that are involved in the stabilization of this particular uh, different levels of the protein organization. And when it comes to the nucleic acid, friends, you have to study about the differences between ADNA, BDNA, cDNA, as well as the ZDNA. Majorly ADNA, BDNA, as well as the ZDNA. You have to read uh, number of base pairs. You have to read the helical length. You have to understand the sugar puckering. You have to understand the base conformation. You have to read uh, multiple characteristic features. So friends, uh, apart from the chemistry, what you have to read, the most important and the most difficult one, uh, metabolical pathways. So when I use the word metabolical pathways, what you have to read? You have to read the glycolysis. You have to read the Krebs cycle. You have to read the ETC. You have to read the oxidative phosphorylation. You have to read the glycogenesis. You have to read the glycogenolysis. We have to read the gluconeogenesis process. And we should also read the PPP pathway. It's not a simple concept, friends. We have to read from very depth to the very advanced. Okay. What reference book you people has to study? Undoubtedly, friends, you have to study the standard reference book, Leninger. Now, I know very well most of the degree lecturers do not have the time to prepare for uh, prepare the Leninger or White and White or Stryer. You can't read this. So if you, I will prepare the PPTs from uh, all the standard reference books. If you strictly follow my PPTs and lessons, of course, you can answer any kind of a question in this particular biochemistry. Then when it comes to the molecular biology, what you have to read, you have to read the replication in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, transcription in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, translation in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, gene regulation in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. You have to study the DNA repair mechanisms. Then friends, most important in terms of gene regulation, you have to read the lac operon also, as well as the tryptophan operon also. And apart from that, you should focus on the post-transcriptional processes also, as well as you have to focus on the post-translational modifications also. Both you have to study. 
So it seems to be very simple molecular biology, but it's a very vast concept. You have to study very depth. So if you if you are a JL, if you are already taking the coaching, you feel very easy this particular topic. But we have to read very depth. What kind of a reference book you can read? Molecular biology by Watson. You have to read this. So if you do not have the time, if you strictly follow my PPT and lesson, you can easily crack the questions from this particular chapter. Then when it comes to the cell structure and organization, see friends, there are many books are there. I can encourage all of you to read either CARP book or Lodish book. These two are extremely important for the cell biology. What you have to read here, you see, uh, they just said that the cell structure and uh, organization of cell. Here we have to read the all kind of a cell organelles along with the structure, function, cell division, cell cycle, regulation, their transports, even very, very important extracellular matrix also. Right, we have to study the cell-cell signaling, we have to study the cell-cell communication also. It's also a very big unit. Then when it comes to the enzyme unit four, it's purely enzymes. Actually, it is a part of the chemistry only, but they have given enzyme and its kinetics as a separate unit. For this also, what is the standard book you people has to follow? Of course, you have to follow the Leninger only. I know most of the people can't read that reference books. If you strictly follow the PPTs and lessons, of course, you can answer any kind of a question. Then friends, uh, analytical techniques. I can't explain you that uh, for the unit five and six, which uh, <coughs> specific reference books has to be followed. For different type of techniques, there are different type of books are there, but I will help you in understanding and analyzing all the kinds of biological tech, bioanalytic techniques, uh, as well as the molecular methods uh, with the help of many standard reference books, uh, along with the PPT and thorough understanding of the lessons as well. And see here, and biochemistry people also has to read the endocrinology and physiology, where you people has to read about endocrine system, nervous system, digestive system, clinical biochemistry, renal function test, pancreatic intestinal function test. It is also a very broad topic. If anyone wants to read the standard reference book, you can read a book, Torah Torah. Anatomy and Physiology by Tora Tora is one of the well-written book. You people can uh, read that. So you can understand everything very easily and elaborate. Then microbiology and molecular biology. See, friends, we are studying biochemistry, but since you people has to read the microbiology also, where you have to study about the all the classification of bacteria also, gene transfers in the bacteria, which means that a conjugation, transformation, transduction, then followed by the classification of viruses, uh, life cycle of the viruses, diseases caused by the viruses, and they have specially given some of the viruses which are highlighted in the plant also, animal also, in the prokaryotes also, eukaryotes also. We have to read uh, all these very briefly and very elaboratively. What's the standard reference book that you have to follow? You have to follow the Fulcher. Very important book. Genetic Engineering. So you can follow the book called T.A. Brown. It's a very well-written book and very easy to understand also where you have to read about all the enzymes involved in the RDNA technology and all the vectors involved in the technology, all the methods you have to under, un, uh, understand. You have to understand the genomic and cDNA libraries as well as uh, the formation and the expression of recombinant proteins in bacteria, yeast, and cultured animal cells also. So it is also, it, it seems to be a little small topic when compared to that. And if you look into the immunology, very, very, very big. Do you think you really having the time of reading the entire QB by immunology by QB? Can you read the entire Abbas book or can you read the entire Wright book? It is extremely difficult. It's very difficult to understand and analyze this. So that is the reason, friends. So if you strictly follow the PPTs which I prepared by using immunology by QB, Wright and Abbas, undoubtedly you can answer any kind of a question. In the immunology, friends, I can't tell you that which subject, uh, which uh, which is more important, which is less important. Immunology means all are interlinked concepts. You have to read A to Z in the immunology without leaving anything. Then bioinformatics and transcriptome. See here, these two also biochemistry people has to read. Actually, this is the kind of syllabus of bioprocessing and engineering. But people has to read this particular bioinformatic tools as well as genomic comparison also, as well as SIRNA and RNAi also. 
I know it's a kind of a phylogenetic analysis, a protein areas, a bioinformatic tools, but you don't get any difficult question from here. You mostly get the question from the application based only. Very straightforward question only, you can get it. And if you look into the 13th chapter, you have to read all the type of cell signaling. You have to start from the simple cell signaling. They have given right up. GPCR cell signaling, all the secondary metabolites, all the secondary messengers, including what? Cyclic AMP, cyclic GMP, calcium. And they have specially given the growth factor. Epidermal growth factor, nerve growth factor, insulin growth factor, platelet-derived growth factor, erythropoietin. And in this cell signaling and cancer only, you see here, they have introduced the cancer biology also. You have to understand what is proto-oncogene, oncogene, what is the difference between the benign tumor, malignant tumor. You have to understand the entire cancer biology. Apart from that, see here, they have introduced the plant here. So you have to understand the how the plant are going to control the stress parameter. What are the various stress signalings that are present in the plant? That also you have to study. So friends, uh, I can tell to all of you one important point. When compared to the syllabus of microbiology, botany, zoology of the DL, biochemistry syllabus is the very vast syllabus which is equal to the net syllabus. But you no need to worry about it. So from the May 1st onwards, we are going to start uh, the new batch exclusively for the biochemistry, which you people has to study the entire syllabus. Uh, out of 13 units, friends, if you study minimum 10 to 11 units, undoubtedly you can crack the exam very easily. I will help you from very basic to the very advanced level. If you strictly follow my notes, undoubtedly you can crack the exam. And the batch is starting from 1st May. So till 1st May to 7th May, everyone can take absolutely free classes. Okay, and uh, if you are 100% satisfied, then only you can continue the classes where you will get a high quality of lectures along with the well-crafted PowerPoint presentations also. So the teachers who are already working as, uh, you know, contract-based degree lecturers in various colleges in the Telangana state, I'm requesting all of you, if anyone is truly passionate to crack this particular biochemistry, so please contact on this particular below number. And I'm telling you once again, if you're really interested and a serious aspirant, then only you call, then only we will provide the, you know, high quality coaching. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all.